Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Stunch Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Captain America stealth suit. Uh, I think the stealth suit was the one they wore uh, right away after you make an escape from the uh, space satellite. But I guess... I mean, this one's cool. It's just a repaint of the original one, which I will do a comparison of in a little bit. But here's the front for you. Here's the side art that we've seen before. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's the other figures in the wave and with to build Joe Fix It. Uh, same box art there. You get the Avengers Game Reverse uh, logo furnished on top. And then you get the uh, bomb with now a whole lot besides the DCBI for you guys. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Cap out of the packaging here. So he has some accessories here. So first off, he has Joe Fix It's left arm here, which we'll go over once we build them. Uh, and then he has his shield, which we've seen before. Actually, I have it right here if you guys want to do a comparison of those. But same exact thing. Um, you get the silver paint for the star, a little bit of blue for the inner circle, red and thinner line for the white, and then the rest red. So, and they kind of sculpted it to give it a little bit of the rims there. So, but this one, this one, this one's my old one, which has a little bit of mist paints. But this one, I think they actually made the paints a little more crisp. So that's better. I think the paint job is a lot better with this one than the, that one that I have. So that one's good. And you get the same inside thing here. And instead of having the strap, you just clip it on. So, and then you get that little peg there to plug it into his back, which I'll show in a bit. So yeah, there's the shield for you. He comes with two fist hands. He's wearing one of them right now. You get the little silver knuckle protectors there and the fingerless gloves. So, yeah, and you got one, like, gun-holding hand, I guess. So, not, nothing real uh, special about that. And then you get his extra head, which I will do uh, a comparison with the other one here in a bit. Um, but, yeah, I think this one looks a lot, really cool, especially with the black here. You get a little bit of mist paints on the strap there. They kind of missed that one a little bit. Um, but the eyes look good and they don't look cockeyed really. But besides that, they did a good job with this. Um, and yeah. Uh, and then here's Cap here. So I don't really like the unmasked Steve Rogers head sculpt. To me, it looks a lot more like the old, uh, Cap from Endgame to me. If they just, um... Gave him like a little bit of gray hair or white hair. So yeah, it doesn't look really a whole lot like him from the video game. I think, I don't know if it's just my eyes, but I think this head has a more saturated face than this one. I'm pretty sure it's not my eye. I'm pretty sure that's not just my eyes. And I think that what bothers me a little bit too is that his the, the chin like he has a more square chin which i think he does in the video game whereas this one he just kind of has like the old face like saggy or old so i don't know i don't like this head sculpt it doesn't look like him in the video game and the skin tone is way off i think so that bothers me a bit but i like the suit here so you give swap heads if you want um but yeah so you get the like hockey um shoulder pads there they're black you get the what gray stripes there across the chest with the silver star there get that zipper there 
Got more straps for the shoulder. Here's the back. You get that little uh, hole there for plugging in the shield, which I will do real quick. So you just want to plug that in like that. And that's what it looks like with that on. So I might have them with that on. Um, then you get the rest there gray. And then you get the black straps around there. Uh, you get the forearm guards with the silver line there. And then you get the nice sculpt there. Went over the hands already. Uh, instead of the red and uh, blue stripes there, it's just all gray. So, that, yeah. And then you get this little belt here, all black. So, that's cool. And then black pants. It's like uh, cargo pants. And you get that lettering there. Serial, I think, whatever you want to call it. You get the knee pads. A little bit of lighter gray here. And then you get the gray, gray there. And I think these are brown boots. I can't really tell. They're either brown or gray boots so and you, they included the laces in these so yeah but besides that let's go over his articulation which i'm pretty sure is the same deal as the other one so his shoulders can go up just that high because the pads kind of get in the way you get 360 rotation around there i almost went over i almost went past the head sculpt i meant the head articulation sorry so first actually his head can move down just that far up really far that's good you get him to look left and right. You get some head pivoting. Um, so yeah, shoulders can only move up that far because pads are in the way. You get 360 rotation around there. You got bicep swivel. Uh, he has double jointed elbows. Let's see how far he can go. So you can go pretty far. That's good. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, and then 360 rotation around there. He has a bicep. Uh, Ab crunch, so you can bend forward that far, backwards really far. You got a waist swivel, so you get 360 rotation around there. His legs could kick out just that far, which is actually decent. Kick forward, real decent, really good. Uh, backwards, actually somewhat pretty good, more than normal. Uh, you got a thigh cut here. You got double jointed knees. So, yeah. And then you got a, shin, a boot cut there. His ankles can hinge down really far. Up just that far. And then nice ankle pivot. And then here's Cap with the helmet on, which I will have displayed because I don't really like the head sculpt for this one. Um, but yeah. And here's Stealth Cap next to the original uh, Game Reverse Cap here. And for the face sculpts or face paint, uh, they're the same. They're just a little different. So he has a little bit of the, like, somewhat beard coming in. And he has a little bit of a zombie pale skin to me. Whereas this one, they used a better looking skin tone for him. So I like the paint for this one more. But I kind of like the, I don't know, I think they're the same head sculpts. I think this one has a lot more detail. This one has better paint for him. So, yeah. Uh, there's that and yeah, basically the same thing same actually it is the same Body mold and stuff like that. Just different. It's a repaint. So yeah But that's all I've got for him. I the only problem I really got is really just this head sculpt here Because that kind of bothers me. It doesn't it doesn't match with the face For the helmet Captain America, which I think is way more accurate than this. He looks old like in this um, but yeah, and I really hope to actually release the Thor game reverse, uh, like re release a figure of that one. Uh, maybe just a regular green Hulk. Um, they, I know they released Miss Marvel, um, maybe Spider-Man, uh, and then Hawkeye and all those other figures. I mean, other, um, characters that are coming out soon, but yeah, uh, the main problem is this and the skin tone is way off from the helmet and this which i think this one has a little bit of a better skin tone it's this one's i think is a little more accurate for the skin tone but the head sculpt is way off so uh yeah that's a bummer for this one uh and yeah that's all i've got all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. 
They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.